the little dwarf mongoose in front of us. Stanley, you're wondering if those warthogs keep their tails up when they run, even when they're alone. Um, I think they do. And although it is certainly a signal above the grass for other warthogs to follow, I think it's just an automatic response. This is a great troop of dwarf mongoose as opposed to a sounder of warthogs. Oh, there are a whole lot of them running around here, one close by. Now they are probably any animal out here will be most pleased by the change in the weather. They always look like they enjoy a good morning sunning. They don't like to come out on cold mornings. And so now as the sun's come out and the morning has warmed so beautifully, they'll be having a good time. And of course, the warmth will bring with it a flush of insects and things which they will then go and eat. And if they're very lucky, a whole lot of eggs laid by birds and reptiles. <laughs> they are so sweet. This is a dwarf mongoose, in case you're wondering. Dwarf mongoose, the smallest carnivore that we get here or in Africa. And by carnivore, I don't necessarily just mean meat eater, I mean part of the order carnivora, so belongs to the same order as the dogs and cats and hyenas, etc. And Rebecca, they do kinda look like ferrets, indeed. Ferrets, of course, belong to the weasel family, which I think is known, is it the mustelid? Are they the mustelids? Well, they're on their own. I'll have a quick look for you. But they're certainly, they're not the same family, but the families are not f far removed from each other. Let me just quickly check this for you. It is, it is a mustelid, the weasel. See the point? You say, why are the movements so jerky? I think they're pretty smooth, you know. Um, I think it's probably just because they're small, and so that looks like they're moving in a slightly more jerky fashion. But I don't think they've got deep jerky movements, unless VM's pushed the, fr the frame <laughs> shutter speed up too high, or too low, I mean. But that's definitely not the case. I suppose their heads... You know why it looks jerky, Cedar Point? is because it happens so fast. So when you see their heads turn from side to side, it's happening at four or five times the speed that you and I would turn our heads from side to side. And so it looks like it's a jerk, but it actually isn't. It's just because they have to be able to look around themselves so very fast. They need to be able to look. They're all alarm calling now. They've probably seen a bird fly above here. <laughs> 